Hey everybody, welcome back to another Ark Survival Ascended Xbox video. Today I've just got a quick FAQ for you all, trying to cover a bunch of the questions that I've had over the last couple of days for the Xbox version of the game. Some of this is stuff you might want to know before you buy it, and some of it is in-game useful things to know, like how to move full stacks between inventories on this version of the game. As always, I'll put a full chapter listing down below, and if you find the video useful at all, then drop a like and subscribe to stay up to date with all of my Arc Ascended Xbox tips and tricks videos. Number one, is it on Game Pass? How much is it? No, the game is not on Game Pass. We don't have information on if it is going to go to Game Pass or not. It may do in the future. At the moment, the game is priced at £37.49 in the UK or $44.99 US dollars. There's no indication at the moment that any discount is going to be offered on that. Number two, does it use Xbox Live Gold? Yes, if you want to play multiplayer, you'll need Xbox Live Gold or Xbox Game Pass Core, it's now called, or if you have Game Pass Ultimate that's included in that. Completely standard for all stuff on Xbox really. You should still be able to play the single player version without it but I haven't been able to test this myself to verify that. Number three, does Ark Ascended have new achievements? Yes it has totally new achievements for you to get completely separate from the ASE version of the game. Number four, what maps are available? Just the island map for now but there is also the Svartalheim modded map that you can download through the mod section of the game. Number five, is it crossplay? Yes, the game is crossplay between PC, Xbox, and PlayStation, once PlayStation launches at least. It's also cross progression, meaning your progress should be retained when switching between platforms. So far, it seems all the servers are crossplay servers, but if you host your own, you are able to disable crossplay. Number six, carrying on from that, can you buy servers or dedicated servers? Yes, you can host a server on a dedicated console, just like you could for Arc. In the past you can install and host a server on a dedicated pc or you can pay to host a server through nitrado at the moment it seems nitrado are the exclusive company hosting servers for arc so if you want to pay for an easy option to host one at the moment you're going to have to do it through nitrado by the look of things the smallest slot server they currently have is 20 players which is going to cost you 17 pounds 7 pence gbp a month Number seven, is tethering still a thing? Yes, tethering is still a thing for non-dedicated multiplayer sessions. Number eight, how to use console commands. To use console commands on your Xbox, press start to bring up the pause menu and then go into settings. Hit RB to go to the advanced tab, then find where it says console access on the left-hand side of the screen and make sure that's turned to on. Click save and then if you go back to the pause menu, you'll see in the bottom left corner of the screen, it now says console command and you press the back or select button, some people call it, and it will bring up the list of console commands and you can enter things into here. Number nine, what is the frame rate? Is there a frame rate lock or VSync? On the Xbox Series X, I've been running at 1440p. The frame rate when moving around on default settings tends to average between 32 to 34 FPS. Sometimes a bit lower, sometimes a bit higher. With some small tweaks made to my settings, you can get this up to about 42 to 45 FPS. If you want to know how to do this, then check out my boosting FPS video, which I will link to below and in the top corner. There is no locked frame rate option, and as far as I can tell, there's no option for VSync currently either. Number 10, does it have an FOV slider? Yes, if you go into settings and go to camera, there is a camera FOV slider here. You can select this and you can change this between 0 and 100. Number 11, how can I move whole stacks from one inventory to another? A lot of people have been asking this because the controls are a little bit different to how they were on old ASE. What you need to do is press and hold A and then press right trigger when that's held down and you'll move the whole stack across from one inventory to the other. Double tapping A will put one across and if you have no second inventory open then double tapping will move that into your hotbar. Number 12, is there a performance mode? No, there isn't a performance mode in the game currently. Number 13, can you use mouse and keyboard on Xbox? Yes, you can. You can plug in a keyboard, you can plug in a mouse and use them. Keyboard is pretty useful if you're gonna be using a lot of commands as they're a bit of a ball ache to type in. Number 14, how to get into third or first person. If you hold down the back or select button, it will bring up this radial menu. There's all sorts of options. You can find toggle third person down here, select that one. 
and you're going to third person. And if you want to go back into first person again, you just do the same thing, toggle it again, and you're going to first person. Number 15, what mods are available? At the moment, there's three pages of mods available. When it went live yesterday, there were two, so there's already been new ones added. There's various things from different sections. We already mentioned Zvartalheim being in there. There's also Dwarven Builders mod. There's some different dinosaurs. There's the automated arc one and a few different bits for you to play around with, but it seems they're already gonna be adding stuff to this pretty regularly. So that's everything for today. If you have any other questions not covered or more expansive answers you can offer, then please leave a comment down below and we'll do our best to help you out. If you enjoyed the video, then why not like and subscribe and check out one of my other Arc Ascended Xbox Guide videos, like my one on how to boost your frame rate. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Ben, we are The Beard Guys, and I'll see you next time.